A Perfect Day by Elaine Smith. So Elaine Smith is our author and illustrator. The warmth of the sun felt good on Cat's back. Cat liked to be in the flower bed where the daffodils grew. It was a perfect day for Cat. <laughs> yes. The cool of the water was what Dog liked to best. When it was hot, Dog sat in the wading pool that his friend Bert filled for him. It was a perfect day for Dog. Do you think if the cat fell in that water, it would still be a perfect day for cat? No. So the cat liked the warmth of the sun. The dog liked the cool of the pool. Bird seed. Bert topped off the bird feeder with it. It was a perfect day for chickadee. Squirrel went up the pole. Squirrel went down the pole. Squirrel could not get to the seed. Bert dropped a corn cob onto the grass. Who's that corn cob for? For squirrel. It was a perfect day for squirrel. Yikes! Do you think it's still a perfect day? Hmm. It was a perfect day for Squirrel. Who took his food? The bear. It was a perfect day for Chickadee. It was a perfect day for Dog. It was a perfect day for cat. Why did the author say that? And they made was a bold word in all of these. It was a perfect day for squirrel. It was a perfect day for chickadee. What happened? Why isn't it a perfect day for them anymore? Yeah, because bear came and kind of ruined it for all of them. The things that they loved, he took it from them. The warmth of the sun, the cool of the water, a belly full of corn and a seed, a flower bed for a nap. What do you think it's going to say on the next page? Who is it a perfect day for now? It was a perfect day for Bear. <laughs> the end. What would make your perfect day? If it's hot outside, maybe it would be a trip to the pool. If it's cold outside, maybe it would be uh, making s'mores around a campfire or drinking hot cocoa inside. What's perfect is different for everybody, right? And depends on how you're feeling at the time and where you are. Hope you enjoyed it.